What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. And in this moment, man, we got to discuss Mr. Cal Shanahan. I like old Cal, man. He reminds me of, like, the cool white kid that was able to, like, blend. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's able to adapt. That's what he gives me. And it's just a cool guy. We know that Lil Wayne's his favorite rapper. I think he named his dog or his son uh, Wayne or something like that. Something in the reports a while ago I heard. Uh, but yes, man, this man took a uh, devastating loss after having the league. And we all know that most of Kyle Shanahan's Super Bowl games end in the same manner. And uh, I just don't know how to feel about this, but I'll try to give it my best. So I'm looking at this situation and I'm like, OK, what do you do about a guy who can always get you to the promised land, but maybe not be able to deliver? And I think that maybe now, maybe you could try something different, but then you never know because it seems like the team responds and he has complete control over his offense and defense. He's also has good relationships with his coordinators. So I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, like, what do you do? Do you just say, hey, we we didn't make it. We try again. Or do you 49er fans feel like you guys should replace him? Because I think that he's earned the right to stay. Honestly, like it makes no sense to, to let him go. But it didn't really make sense to let Andy Reid go either. But after he lost the Super Bowl, the Philadelphia Eagles decided it was best to part ways with him. Now look at him. So you have to ask yourself, do you want that same situation for Kyle Shanahan? Do you really want him to go somewhere else and become an Andy Reid? Because he's a genius. The only thing about the Kyle Shanahan scheme and system is that you can come so close to doing it and getting it done, especially at the quarterback position. I think that Brock Purdy is the right person because I like the fact that he's mobile and I think that they finally got it right. They have to go all in on Brock Purdy. They have to commit to him. They have to pay him, honestly. Because the truth of the matter is, if you had a dual threat quarterback or a running quarterback, as some like to call them, then who knows, you know, the head above shoulders approach in that system works perfectly because if you have an off script quarterback, a lot of those plays will be blown up. But then again, it probably could work in your advantage because the defense will have to respect it. And uh, Brock Purdy is very dangerous with his legs. I feel like he should have used more of it. And sometimes he hesitated a little bit. But hey, it's football. Another thing about Kyle Shanahan that I sometimes, you know, don't understand is like I get it. You want a very physical team. But most of the times for the last few years, every time they're in the big games, their key players are collapsing and falling down. And he runs them into the ground so much to where, you know, when it's time to actually be healthy to perform, you know, they injured themselves. We saw a green law. The guy did two uh bounces he bounced up off the ground like twice you know what i'm saying like jumped up one two like the warm up and he, before he tried to take the field it looks like his achilles snap like i was like what the you know like wow talk about timing like that was terrible so i don't know man like you know debo samuels was shut down george kittle was talking all that mess about how you know like he was going to come back with this vengeance like what happened to the bubble screens? What happened to the slice and dice and, you know, the defense? I, I really didn't see any, any of that. And, uh, you know, I get it. You know, the 49ers brand is a great brand, but it's, you know, the, the head coach. Maybe Kyle Shanahan needs to figure out a different approach. You know, like I definitely think that he should keep his job. I just think that he probably should, should come up with a, a different approach. And, you know, players bear some responsibility too. You know, like some of these players didn't show up. They want to come out of the tunnel, you know, dancing and shaking their ass, you know, but on the field, they were they were cold as ice. I don't understand. I thought the music was supposed to make you play harder or something. Right. Anyway, I guess it's just a trend. But yeah, man, um, I think that Kyle Shanahan has to approach this next season very differently. Uh, I'm quite sure. Uh, they're going to look at a lot of things that went right and a lot of things that went wrong. But truthfully, in my opinion, a lot of things went right. You just gave Patrick Mahomes too many, too many options. You gave him too much time and you guys paid for it. And when it was time to make it count, 
you guys did not put forward the same uh, offensive uh, effort that you had in the, the first half. And halftime adjustments are everything. And one thing the Chiefs have figured out, like I said in my other video, is to make it look like something that is not. Oh, they'll make you think that you have them down and they'll score bare minimum. The whole time they're just waiting to the second half to pull out all their tricks and catch you off guard. That's exactly their scheme and, and it works. Literally, it works. So yeah, uh, I think the 49ers have to just, you know, swallow this one. It sucks. Things happen. You know, they have it to my Eagles. They have it to the 49ers before. And I'm quite sure with that type of talent, uh, they'll be back there. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do about the Brock Purdy contract situation. Maybe they give it another year to see what he can do. But I think they, he got you there. You may as well just pay him and get him out the way before the salary cap continue and continues to rise. So 49er fans out there, I want you guys to weigh in on this topic and tell me what y'all think. Do y'all feel like y'all were the team that were far more better than the Chiefs? I thought in that game you guys outplayed the Chiefs. However, you just didn't get the, the you know, the, the, the ending result. So you guys tell me what y'all think on this. Uh, should, should Cal Shanahan keep his job? Do you guys think that you need to look for another coordinator? Do you guys think that you need to start looking for other coaches? I'm just curious. So you guys weigh in on this topic. If you guys like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest when I drop my sports takes. Also follow me on Twitter at Charge the Game. Thank you so much for the love and support. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.